Hey coach, I uh, hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. We love those. Also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you want to become a better coach in a less than a dollar a day, you can, you can do that. My mentor, my personal email address, I will help you become a better basketball coach. Go over and check it out. Let's head back to the video. All right, one of my favorite drills to do is two-team transition. This drill's been around forever. Everyone's done it probably. You know, you have a three-on-two. You're going to add the extra player when the ball crosses half court. We'll even change that up in some different ways as we get going. Um, whether it's the dribble or the pass, the ball, whatever, crosses half court, you add an extra defender. Um, they go and touch the center circle, and then we're three-on-three. Uh, we've made some changes to this drill because we want real like game situations. So first of all, in the video I'm going to show, you're going to see people do it the right way and the wrong way. That's going to happen. It was early in the season. Uh, for instance, one thing is we're never going to start defense with X1 and X2 lined up like that. We'll put them side by side. We'll put them both at half court. We'll tell them to do something crazy. Anything that's going to make the offense have to make a read and a decision. The last thing I want to do is possession after possession, come up the court and have three on two versus a stack. A lot of times we'll start them shoulder to shoulder. I'll say, you defense, you cannot start inside the three-point line because we want this to be game-like read. Um, we'll do this early in practice. We might do it late in practice, but we're almost always going to have a points per possession tracking with this. If we're doing 20 possessions, we want to have 20 points at the end. It is an advantage drill. We, offense should be scoring. Not only should they be scoring quick in the drill, but they should be scoring frequently. One point per possession for a varsity team is minimum. Maybe it's a little bit lower with your level of team or where you're at, but this is a great drill for us to focus on scoring, reading the court, passing, pivoting, you name it. I want to put those fundamentals into a game-like drill that's going to show off. This is an example of something I don't want to start practice with, a layup drill where it's just simple passing. There's no defense. There's no decisions. I'm just following a pattern. I don't want that in my practice. Even if it's sloppy, which it will be in any any practice, There's mistakes are a good thing whenever we're working on stuff. I want that to be a thing, not robots following a passing drill here. So we get to the film. You're going to see some ugly stuff. You're going to see some good stuff. At the very beginning, I don't know why they're stacked up. I know I told them not to do that. But we've got a three on two. The extra defender's coming in when the ball crosses half court. Of course, in this drill, if you've done it, they're going to cheat it. They're going to know. They're going to forget to run in. We see all kinds of stuff. I will stop the possession at five or six seconds if they're not getting a quick shot of, guys, we're trying to attack, not run offense here. All right, this is transition. We should be getting a layup or a three for us really early in the possession. Like, I'm calling it the other way at this point if it's not early in the season here. Like you can see we're trying to do some of the right concepts, but it's sloppy. This possession, for me, in a regular practice is going the other direction. Here you can see we're going against two defenders. They're somewhat lined up like I want them to be. Bad pass, that's part of practice, getting better. Here we had defenders a little bit higher. That's a realistic thing. If we brought two guys to stop the ball, we should have had a shot there. Like this possession's taking way too long, but this is really early here. Ball crosses half court. Here comes the extra defender. We This is still too long. We want a little bit earlier shot because we're not working three on three here. I do like the drive and kick, but it took us way too long to get to that. Here you see a little bit more of what I want. I've got a guy at half court on defense. The second defender they're going to come up against, he's up on the three-point line. That's the tweak we've made to this drill. When we do some of our pressure stuff, we'll even put the ball. You'll see, if you want to look at some of that stuff that I'm going to share too, we'll run the extra defender up into transition or add things to make it a little bit more chaotic 
A lot of different things we can do on an old school drill here, but like most of my stuff, track your points per possession. We don't want to just run five minutes of offense and score five points with 25 possessions. That points per possession can really give us a lot of feedback on how successful we were. Thanks for watching, Coach. Make sure you go over and check out ttroops.com for coaches who want to get better. Make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time we come back on. But you will not be disappointed with ttroops.com. 14-day free trial. Let's go check it out. Have a great day.